Hi, I'm Sophia Jacob from Sophia's Art Supply Review. Today I would be reviewing two products from one of the oldest brands in Indian market. The Camel Students Watercolor Tube and the Camel's Artist Watercolor Tube. Let us dive right into the unboxing. I have chosen to take boxes of 12 shades for both the products to make comparison easier. Let's begin by looking at the Students box first. Now the first thing one would notice is that nowhere on the box is it mentioned that this is a student grade watercolour and this could get confusing for the buyer. The back of the box mentions the names of the 12 shades that are enclosed in the box. The box also mentions the number and quantity of tubes packed within, so this has 12 tubes of 5ml each. This product was packed in February 2020 and it's priced at Rs 100. I also want to let you know that this product is available in boxes of 14 and 18 shades as well. One drawback is that you cannot purchase individual tubes separately, so if you run out of your favourite shades, you will have to buy the entire box again. Right here on the box, there is also some techniques mentioned that may be used while using the product. This is what the product looks like from inside. Right on top is the entry coupon for Camel Art Contest and this is for students till class 12th, clearly showing the target audience for this specific set of colours. Moving on to the tubes, the packaging material used is plastic. Looking closer at the paint label, you will see that now the product is branded as Students Watercolour, a fact that wasn't mentioned on the outer packaging. There are also other details like brand name, colour name, colour number and quantity mentioned on the tube. But that is it. There are no other details like what pigments are used, what is the transparency of the paint, what are the series numbers or how much is the permanence of the paint within. Moving on to our second product, that's the Camel's Artist Grade Watercolour Tubes. The AP mentioned here means that it's an approved product by ACMI which is an international organization and it has certified that this product is toxic free. On the side of the box the quantity is mentioned so there are 12 tubes of 5 ml inside. The box was packed in January 2020 and it's priced at Rs 185. Now let's open this up. This is what the box looks like from inside. Wherein you found a contest coupon in the student's box, there are none in this box. Looking closer at individual tubes, you will see that the packaging material used is again plastic. On the paint label, you'll find the brand name, colour name and colour number mentioned. But this label also has far more details than it did in the student's colour. There is an alphabet on the lower left which indicates the permanence of the paint. Permanence is basically the paint's ability to withstand exposure to light and humidity without fading over time. Alphabet A means extremely permanent, B means permanent and C means fairly permanent. There is a series number mentioned on the lower middle which indicates how cheap or expensive the pigments used in the paints are. Series 1 is the cheapest and series 5 is the most expensive. I have checked all the shades in the artist's watercolour shades and they are all either series 1 or series 2. On the bottom right you will see a small box. This specifies the transparency of the paint. The white box indicates the paint is transparent, black indicates that it's opaque and a box that is split into two indicates that this paint is semi-transparent. Now before you start the painting, it's always a great idea to test your paints out. I've prepared test sheets to check how these paints react on paper. The black line here are added to check the transparency of the paint and I've just used a regular permanent marker to make these lines. The watercolour is a Momart watercolour sheet, which is a 180 GSM. I'll be just using a small palette to put the paints. And the brush that I'm using is a number 8 Fine Art Super Sable brush. Let's begin.
Before I offer my verdict, I would just like to mention that this is not a sponsored video and all the views and opinions expressed are entirely my own. Now I'll be honest, prior to this demonstration, I had never used a student's watercolor range. And this is primarily due to the fact that it's a common knowledge that the pigments that are used in the student's color are usually of inferior quality. However, I was pleasantly surprised when I used these paints. And I especially like the shades that are provided in the box because they look really good on paper. A charge that is levied against the student watercolor very often is it has a chalky opaque effect. In my experience, it was true to a large extent. When you compare the two paintings, you will see the painting done with the artist color was more vibrant. Also, when I was mixing the student watercolor in the palette, I could feel a grinding sensation, which could have been the binder which is used in the paints. As you learn more about watercolor, you'll realize that the watercolor painting is actually an interplay between tones and values. Here's when the student watercolor will really let you down. It's comparatively very difficult to get that range of values, especially the darker tones. A more experienced artist will be able to manipulate the student watercolor, but for a beginner, it might be a challenge. Another aspect you need to know about is the permanence of the paint. Now for most artist grade colors, you can be rest assured that the vibrancy of the painting will remain so for the next 100 years. However, there is no such guarantee with the student watercolor. So if permanence of your painting is important to you, then you need to keep this in mind. Another fact that I had mentioned earlier was that if you run out of a shade in the student's watercolor range, you will have to buy the entire box again. However, if you need a shade in the artist color, you can go ahead and buy individual tubes. Also, while the student color is only about 18 shades or so, in the artist range, you have 42 shades to choose from. And now coming to the price, the 12 shade box for the student color costs rupees 100 and the artist color costs rupees 185. My opinion is that the artist watercolor may cost more, but it will actually give you more value for your money. If your intention is to become a proficient watercolor artist, I would suggest you go in for these colors. If price is a constraint or your intention is just to make a couple of paintings, then you can very well go for the student's watercolor box. Like I said, I really like the shades in the box. I really hope I was able to answer some of the questions that most beginners in watercolor have. If you enjoyed this video, do click the like button and if you wish to see more such art supply reviews, do subscribe to my channel.